This is the section in the book, Starry-Eyed and Screaming, where Amy gets an interesting call from Ray Ray, a record company executive. You ready? Ray Ray's voice came at me, full of solar energy down the telephone line. You ready or what? It's all lined up. Radio. Get this. Airplay. One. In the capital. All the big ears. I tell you, when I'm good, I'm good. You ready? Yes, I said, rather too tentatively. You better be, because that's not all. Listen. Starlight Charity. You listening? Three weeks' time. That's all. You. What do you mean? Single slot, way down, but listen. Starlight Charity Showcase. Benefit cancer, once a year only, in three weeks. TV. What? You better believe it. Next week, week after, rehearsals. You. You're going to be ready, Amy Peppercorn. When Ray Ray make it happen, it happen. So it happen. Ray Ray make it. Radio play, all the biggies. School, three days later, it hit home. Wham, bam. There was a commotion in the playground. First of all, I thought it was trouble. Maybe it was, in a way. It was me. By the end of that same week, this little crowded commotion by the entrance gate waiting for me. Waiting for Amy Peppercorn. It's you, isn't it? It is you. You were on the radio. Your name and everything. She heard you. How did you do it? Are you going to make a video? We've already made the video, I said. I was smiling. The little crowd was following me into school. Great song, one of the boys said. What's it called? The Word on the Street, I said, trying to remember that this was just my school, the place I'd been attending for years as an ordinary schoolgirl. The other ordinary schoolgirls and boys were treating me as if I was extraordinary, which makes you feel extraordinary. That's how it goes, you see. One moment you're down, as way down as I'd been feeling, the next you're up and flying. The lows dip as far as they do to give you a gauge against which to measure the highs. But still the highs are immeasurable, breathtaking, simply, truly wonderful. I knew it was you, someone was calling. There aren't two Amy Peppercorns, someone else said. No, I thought, there are not two Amy Peppercorns. Something may be in that name, something in being me, Little me, less than five feet tall with a ten-foot voice, that something had singled me out for this. I could feel the uniqueness of it immediately. There I was, still at school, doing my ordinary stuff, living my day-to-day -day life. But in reality, yes, in reality, I was a real-life pop singer, with my first single starting to be played on the national radio channels. W's, amypeppercorn.com. There you can download the book, the songs, even watch a video of Amy herself.